Hey guys, this is Pram bringing you another episode of Pram's Breakdown. And this week, we are going over Hydreigon. So, uh, you can see the Hydreigon list I'm playing right now. Uh, this one's very vanilla. And the reason for that is because I don't want to, like, force anyone into a certain build. Because Hydreigon is one of the decks that you can do a lot of things with. There's a lot of versatility you can do with the build of Hydreigon. And let's kind of let's just go over what I have right now, and after that we'll go over possible options for the deck. So let's start off with the Pokemon line. We'll go bottom up, and that's just how we'll do it. So first off, we have three Sableye, three Darkrai, a four-one-three Hydreigon line with one Keldeo EX. So this is a very standard line here. Um, Sableye, of course, helps you set up. With Junk Hunt, you can reuse Max Potions, lets you reuse Ultra Balls and Rare Candies, and the all-important Computer Search. A very just strong overall card, and it really just has to be in here. I would consider playing 4, but we're kind of tight on space. Darkrai, the main attacker of this deck, and its Dark Cloak ability really just helps you maneuver around the board. You can free retreat, and this comboed with... Your Hydreigon with Dark Trance lets you really manipulate who you want active, where you want to attack with, and all that good stuff. And finally, the round out the Pokemon line, one Keldeo EX, just to get around, laser, retreat, do all sorts of things like that. So let's go over possible options you can do with your Pokemon line. Uh, one option is Verzian EX. Verzian EX is very good. You can replace the Keldeo for Verzian. It makes your Pokemon immune to the poison effect from Hypnotoxic Laser in all special conditions, really. And it's very strong. The only requirement is you have to have a blend energy on the Pokemon. So that can get a little tricksy with uh, Enhance Hammer, because they can go Enhance Hammer, Laser, and things like that. So overall, I'm not sure which one's better, uh, but I think both are very strong. Another option you can do is Genesect EX. With Genesect, you can put two blind energies on it, and you can even play G Booster, which will let you do 200 damage, and it can really just surprise an opponent. And plus, it's Grass, which is also helpful versus opposing Keldeos, Blastoises, and it's a very strong card. Uh, other cards you can include in here would be. Perhaps Reshiram EX, that's uh, a card that saw some play last year in Hydreigon Mirror. So it's just a way to get 150 damage out. Very, very, it, it's pretty okay. Uh, also, you could play things like Jirachi EX to help you smooth out your supporter line. And yeah, those are pr pretty much the techs. You could also run one Absol. There's also Cresselia EX, which will help against. Psychic Pokemon, because you can knock out Psychic EXs for 180 damage, and then have no weakness going into their turn. So, very strong card, uh, but it's not included because this is really more just a, a very vanilla list for Hydreigon. So, let's move on to the supporter line. 4-4-4, four, 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 it's just very consistent. You want to have 4 Skyla, 4 Juniper, four, and, and you just want to get through uh, your deck. Uh, next we have four Ultra Ball. Uh, again, just keep the deck very consistent, very strong. Only one Tool Scrapper, and this is because we can get Tool Scrapper back with Junk Hunt, which is very important. One Super Rod, again, uh, just in case things go wrong, you can have a Super Rod ready for you. Plus, you can get it back with Junk Hunt, which is also very important. Four Rare Candy for consistency. Three Pokemon Catcher, and this is a card that is will not be seen much play soon but as it, as it is written right now it is a very good card and three is good four would be like too much almost uh, a lot of times you just want to be attacking what's ever active but sometimes you want to attack the bench and it helps night spear damage uh, math work out well with Pokemon catcher you can catch or something to the bench and really just work around the night spear math Max Potion. This is a very uh, key card in the deck. 
So what Max Potion does, you can move all your energy off your Pokemon who's damaged, and then Max Potion, remove all the dam energy or all the damage off it, and then you don't have to discard anything because there's nothing on there. So then you can put all the energy back on to, say, Darkrai EX, who was damaged, got Max Potioned, and then you move it all back to him, and he's ready to go again. Dark Patch, again, uh, a pretty essential card, very... Very card defining. Uh, it's a it's a deck defining card, and it really just powers you up, makes you accelerate so much faster. And then one computer search because computer search is, I think is just the most consistent a spec. If you're not trying to do anything fancy like scoop up cyclone or things like that, computer search is the way to go. So I think. Computers also computer search with junk hunt let's is a very strong combo. Uh, so we have four blend energy of the grass dark wheel, and that's just because it we can use it off Hydreigon. Also, there's psychic on that wheel, so we can use Dragon Blast, which is very important in the Blastoise matchup. And then seven darks just to round up the dark energy line. So real quick over its matchups. Its plasma matchup is actually pretty strong if you can set up. Uh, if you can set up, then it's very difficult for them to knock out your Dark Rise because of your Max Potion cycle, the cycles. I also forgot to highlight that uh, we, it does run two Dark Claw, which is very good in the fact that you can hit certain numbers with Night Spear, and Dark Claw is a very strong card in this. So. Plasma, again, uh, Dark Claw is actually going to be very powerful in this matchup where you can go on 110, 30, and then onto a Kyrim. Catch up another one uh, that you just did 32, so then you get a double knockout on two Kyrams. And it also lets all the Plasma e uh, EXs are 170 HP, and Night Spear lets you get to that number very easily. So, Plasma is a fairly decent matchup when you set up. If you can set up, you're in great shape. Now, versus Blastoise, again, not a terrible matchup. Uh, they have to use uh, Keldeo against you. If they use uh, Black Ballista, Black Kyrum, then you can Dragon Blast it, which is a very strong, you're trading a non-EX for an EX. As long as you can keep energy on the board, you'll be in great shape. And this is where, uh, again, Dark Claw is very good here. It can do, it can get you to that 170 that Keldeo's at. It can get you to that 140 that Blastoise is at, and it is a very strong card. Uh, very not a, it's a pretty good. I, I would say a pretty decent matchup. Again, uh, not terrible, but not great. It's pretty decent. Darkrai High Dragon. This is the matchup where you could have issues on, but you have Tool Scrapper and Sableye, so maybe you can pull something out. Unfortunately, they also have uh, Tools and Sableye, so you could end up playing a war there. However, Darkrai, it's a very, it's a very iffy matchup. I, I think Darkrai, uh, Darkrai Garbodor would have the advantage in that matchup. Anyways, those are the big three matchups you really need to go through, so let's just get into a game. Hey guys, we're into a game now, and uh, let's see how this works out. So I start with the dark right here. I have a computer search in my hand, and eh, the hand's not too bad, actually. I can, I can definitely work with this. So let's see what he ends up playing. Uh, if it's one of... If it's one of the big three, I, I feel pretty comfortable with it. I will choose heads, and I get to go second, and I'm up against uh, the Kafa Grigas deck. Eh, it's it's not a tier one deck, but it's 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 not bad either. So we'll see how this works out for for me. If things can if things get tricky, I c it could be difficult, but we shall see. The bench damage for Night Spear will be very important here. So here we go. He Ultra Balls away a 
Audino and a Flareon. Maybe he gets an uh, he gets an Eevee. And does he have a supporter? The answer is yes. So he discarded N here. I, I like that move. That's fine. Juniper there was fine. And let's just see how what I'm going to do. Uh, let's just figure out what I'm going to do. So I have an Ultra Ball a computer search. Uh, I might Ultra Ball away the Rare Candy and Dark Energy and then computer search the Max Potion and the card I draw for a Dino and a Juniper and attach Dark Claw to the Dark Rai. That is my plan of action as of right now depending on what I draw. And I think that's fairly fine. Uh, yeah, I would get a Dino. Maybe a Sableye. Probably a Dino, though. Actually, I could see myself getting a Sableye. Because if I draw a Dark Patch and an Energy... Ah, oh, I don't even need to get a Supporter. I can just end here. So now what I'm going to do... I'm going to Ultra Ball here. I'm going to get rid of these two. And I am going to get a Sableye. Play it down. I'm going to computer search these two away. And I'm going to get a dark patch. So this will let, give me a energy on the Sableye. So now I'm almost ready to junk hunt. I drew a Dino too, and I drew an energy so I can retreat. And then junk hunt here. And the two cards I'm going to get back are computer search and dark claw. So here I can computer search away a rare candy and an N, get the Hydreigon, Dark Claw, the Dark Ride, Juniper, and I'll be in great shape. So I have a turn two Hydreigon coming out, and let's just see what he can do about this. Possible courses of action would be to double Clofagrigus, my D node. That would give me some prizes, but it's a very scary uh, thing the Steno is right now. So he gets the Electrode, and he's, this is just really him setting up his deck. He can't use his power yet, because he has too many cards in his hand. But I, I suspect that will go down to a much lower number very shortly. So he puts a Life Dew onto this Yawn Mask, and that's really prepping for the Cofagrigus. And I wonder what he's going to go with. What is he going to target down with the Cofagrigus? He Ultra Balls away a Drifloon for Cofagrigus. And I believe he has one, yeah, one Flareon in the discard. So this Cofagrigus is going to evolve, this Yon Mask is going to evolve into Cofagrigus. And then he might just Electrode here. Get two cards, yep, that's what he does. He'll probably have a Supporter in there too. Maybe he'll get a Flareon and a DCE, and that would really pump up his turn. If he gets that, then he'll be able to... Uh, if he gets two Cofagriguses and a Flareon DCE, he will be able to take out both my guys. But it looks like it's just going to be an N. Prevents the Junk Hunt uh, hand fixing. So, good for him. And now my hand's a little bit more difficult, but we can manage here. So he gets a Yawn Mask, and now it depends on what he's going to get. It, does he get a Flareon? And the answer looks like no. He might just pass here. Might not even have energy. That'd be pretty fortunate for me. Uh, another cool thing about having that life do down is I can tool scrapper that. And I have not used my tool scrapper yet. So if I draw a tool scrapper, I'm going to be in great shape. So I get a dark claw. I'm going to go ahead and attach that. Uh, now I'm going to ultra ball away this Keldeo because I don't think I'll need it. And I can't evolve yet into Hydreigon. So I'm going to get rid of it. And I know I have one Hydreigon left, but I'm going to get a Dino here. Play it down. And I'm not going to catch her. I'm just going to attach this Dark Rye. And I'm going to Juniper here. So I did hit the Tool Scrapper. And I will be using it. This is a very good card for me to hit. 
I definitely do not want him to give to have a free prize when he uses that ability. I want to take that free. Pri I want to take that prize. So now I will junk hunt, and what will I get? Well, I definitely want this rare candy, and I want this Ultra Ball. So this will let me get Hydreigon out next turn, and I will be online next turn, ready to go. So now he's in a pickle a little bit. He has to use Cofagrigus. If he does use it, then I get a prize. He has N. He just got an N off random receiver, which is good for him because my hand is very loaded, and I will be coming down with the pain. Uh, he revealed two Flareons in his deck, so I think he does not have a Flareon in his hand. He may not. Uh, however, the end may give him get it, uh, cards he needs anyways. We shall see. He Ultra Balls, and he gets rid of a Voltorb and a Tool Scrapper for the Flareon. So he's going to just play down the Flareon, play the end, and get a fresh new hand. He might even commit with this Cofagrigus beforehand. Uh, interesting to see if he does or not. Just to give myself, just to give me one less card. He might hold off from using it though. And keeping track of ends is very important. He's already used two. He's about to use his third. That means there's only one end left in his deck. And now I can play very aggressively with my hand. I can do a lot of things because chances are he he won't have an end and if he has to play an end this early then I'm going to be in great shape. He, no, neither player has taken a prize yet and he's already used three ends. So I'm in great shape here. I've only, I've only used two or one end rather. So I'm in great shape in terms of supporters. Now the question is and I do happen to have a Hydra gun in my hand which is very sweet the question is, what does he do here? He can he'll he'll tool scrapper away my dark claw. Uh, a little bit annoying, but uh, I can deal with it. Now, what does he do here? He decides to knock out Cofagrius, and where will he put this damage? He is putting it on the Sableye. Interesting. I six seven because he could have put it somewhere else and he would have had enough damage to just knock out my Sableye with vengeance. So that was a peculiar move. But we see personally I would have preferred it on the Dark Rye if I was him. Yep, because he just knocks out my Sableye and then I just end up Dark Rye, whatever. So now I will get out Hydreigon. I'm going to Ultra Ball away a Ultra Ball and a Skyla for a Hydreigon. Play down or a Candy Hydreigon. I'm going to Computer Search the Sableye and N. And I am going to get. Um. I'll get an energy card. And then Juniper. So I am even rewarded by being lucky and getting a Dark Claw there. And I'm going to play a Sableye and Dark Patch just to get uh, the energy on the board. And I'm going to Dark Trance this energy over to the Hydreigon just in case. So now I'm just going to Night Spear 110 to knock out and I am going to put the damage on an EV. I could have put it on the Electrode, that's the other choice. Uh, I just want to play around Tool Scrapper. I mean I know he's used to, he, uh, I just don't know what his list is. So. I can, he, if he evolves, that's fine too, whatever. But if he doesn't, I can maybe get a double knockout on EVs, which will be very big. So this is like the more greedy play. This would have been the safer play. Maybe even arguably better, but 
it is what it is. It's very minor in terms of actual game effects. So he super rods in a psychic and two flareons. And I am in commanding position for this game. I should be good to go. Ultra ball, or yeah, Juniper's here. And how many Ultra Balls? I have one Ultra Ball in my deck. Yeah, I'm in good shape. 21 cards left. He has 14. He hasn't really been able to use Electrode here. Uh, it just his hand was never very low to begin with and this is one of the downfalls of playing Electrode You can get into a lot of sticky situations like that uh, It looks like uh, Aldino is coming into into play here So it's gonna prevent my double knockout shenanigans, which is okay. It's fine Slightly disappointing for me, but hey, it is what it is So we see a level ball here and does he get I don't know what he gets here. Um, maybe another Aldino? Possibly. He might be using it just to get it out of his hand. Yep, that's what it looks like. And he's running short on cards. 14 is not a lot. Uh, but he ends up just passing, which is good for me. I'm going to go ahead and Skyla here. Get myself a Ultra Ball. Gonna go ahead and use Ultra Ball. I'm gonna get rid of a Rare Candy and a Dino. And I wanna get out another Dark Rye, just in case things go bad. So I'm gonna play it down, give it a Blend Energy, and I'm going to use. Um. Debating whether he uses Catcher or not. Mmm. Now, I'm just going to attack. That's fine. Attack, not 30 damage on the EV, and let's just see where that goes. So now, I have two catchers in my hand and a Skyla. I'll be able to Skyla, maybe, I might Skyla for an N or a Juniper. Probably a Juniper. And then, we'll see. He sends up this Eevee, gives it a DCE. He really needs... Oh, he enhanced him. Where's my energy? Meh. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he's doing 120 with his uh, Vengeance right now. Could go up even more. Uh, 120, 130, 140, 150. So if he gets a Kafa Grigus... Oh, it's a f f Feefion. That's going to do 20, 40, 60, 80, only 80 damage, and I am in f fine shape. So, he ends up conceding the game, and there we go. There was a Hydreigon game. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know I enjoyed it. Um, so, yeah, thanks for watching. The I think next episode I'm going to start doing the, regional, uh, the regionals winner's deck list, or at least get to as close as, to as, as I can find. But yep, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing regional winner decks for the next couple weeks. So I hope you guys look forward to that. And I will see you next time on Pram's Breakdown.